Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. When last we left off, we were being led around by our friend here into a obvious, not obvious trap. At least, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a setup for a trap. I would be surprised if it isn't, put it that way. I do not think we have seen the last of the rebels. You recruits can't win a fight like this. I need you to man the Gatling gun. I ain't the soldier here, Captain. Do not question me, gringo. Just do as I say. <laughs> well... Alright. You know how to use that gun. It can't be that hard. Just point and pull the trigger. Yeah, I mean... We will all be killed. We've used one of these before. I've used one of these before. Oh, there we go. You're a killer. You're an anxious son of a bitch, ain't you? We have already been ambushed. Our squad is made up of new recruits and the two men that Santa hates the most. I think it is right to be anxious. Yeah, well, I wasn't exactly expecting a pleasant picnic by the seaside myself. Well, no worries. Speak English, man, for God's sakes. Well, we have a disgusting amount of firepower here, but will it be enough? Only time will tell. How are you feeling there, John? Are you ready to crank the wheel of uh, destiny? Because I am. Do you see them? Uh, I do now, because I have a radar. Oh, oh god, we've actually got a health bar for our uh, train. That's not great. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I don't know, man. They've got to take us over once they kill the engineer. And we have a beastly gun here. Doesn't look like we can zoom in or anything, though, unfortunately. Well, keep that thing cranking, John. It's a good thing that we don't actually have a overheating meter either. Because, man, do I hate that in uh, these sort of situations. Never understood why they make uh, these forced gun sections and then give you an overheating weapon. Surely that defeats the whole purpose of it, you know? You've got to have an overpowered, insane weapon because you're fixed to the spot. Listen to that brass flying. Uh, well, I was going to say, hopefully not all of the uh, town inhabitants are against us, but wow, he was probably the luckiest man alive. Alright, I'm starting to be convinced this gun's firing blanks. At least a large percentage of what this gun is firing are blanks. Hello, sir. Don't worry. Plenty for all of you. <laughs> I do love it when they survive. And they get up and kind of like hovel off wounded. Oh, God. You've got to kill the horses as well. Just because. Seems uh, rude not to. After all, they are rebel horses. And they have rebel ideas. Baby. Well, I guess we'll let some of the horses go. Come on. Enough of that. What are you doing, sir? I think he was checking his watch. Seems an unwise decision. Wait, have we got... Yeah, they're actually on the train. All right. <laughs> that actually makes it slightly easier. To be fair. Because they're all coming from the same place. Oh, is he throwing explosives at me? That's not good. At least we get to play pop-up pirates here. 
Oh, so close. <laughs> that guy got kicked in the sacks. <laughs> the horse kicked him in the sacks as he was dying. That's fantastic. Oh, God. Don't have a chain, Rockstar. Hello. Oi. 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 It's enough of that. Ooh. He became a log for the fire. He's had enough. Oh, evening. There we go. Lovely. Oh, hello. I mean, to be fair, the horses are a bigger target. So. And we're already murdering innocent people, so. What's a bit of animal cruelty? On top of that, I suppose. We can't. Well, to be fair. I would rather be wasting thousands of people than animals. After all, the animals didn't choose to be here. There we go. He had about a thousand slugs up his arsehole. Lovely. Just, uh, tending the fields. You know, I wonder if anybody's going to be picking up the bodies after this. You know, you have to worry about these things. Oh, if he survived, he's got broken bones. And uh, extra bullets. I don't know how many bullets a human body is supposed to contain. Probably not this many. Okay. I have a feeling that the train is not doing so well. Possibly something to do with that big old blue bar on our screen there. You alright there, buddy? Kind of look like... Uh, yeah, yeah, let's... Let's not do that. Oops. My bad. <laughs> we, <laughs> we just stripped half of what little health we had left off our own train. We actually somehow got through that. The old crank of destiny. Wouldn't mind one of these at home, to be honest. Perfect for when the Joho's come knocking or, I don't know, junk mail deliverists. We are lucky to be alive. Go to the camp. The base commander will want to speak to you. And yes, junk mail deliverists is now a job title. Speak English, man. Thank you. Thank you for your efforts. The escort was a success. At least some of your men survived. I didn't think to survive myself. My whole life I have dreamed of a glorious death. Vamos! Rapido antes que nos ataquen otra vez. These socialist pigs cannot be allowed to win. Yes, very droll. Uh, about my... Oh, new items are available. Yeah, about my, um... My part of the deal. Well... My mistake, mister. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the guy that was sitting on the back. Of the wagon. Alright, well, come on midnight. Now, I have been looking up, um, I've been trying to find some information on what the best horse in this game is, and what's kind of bizarre is none of the, come on, out the way midnight, none of the uh, guides that I've read up even list the war horse. So, 
I don't know what the hell that's about. That's a pretty good prize. But what I'm, what we're probably going to do is we're going to get through the story. And then during the end game, we'll wrap up a lot of content because I've noticed that I've got some achievos that I haven't um, achieved in this game. So that's a pretty good indicator of stuff that we need to do. All right. So where the hell are we? Ooh, good Lord. Just down from McFarlane's Ranch. All right. You know, we could go do this stranger here. He's not actually that far away either. Let's go do that. Because apparently there's like, well, I think there's 15 stranger missions. Uh, and the only reason I'm saying there's 15 is because there's an achievo for it. Which is cool. But, um... I haven't actually unlocked it, so I'm guessing when I played this before, uh, I didn't do a lot of the extra bonus content. I don't know why, to be honest, because I'm really enjoying Charge this complete. game. Very much so, but possibly because I'm playing it uh, in such spread out, sporadic intervals. You know, basically, you know, five half an hour ish sessions every week or every 10 days really um i think that's probably helping doesn't give you time to kind of lose interest not that i think i would lose interest to be fair okay let's go find our stranger stranger Okay, who could possibly be here amongst the whores and the deadbeats? Ooh, hello. That doesn't look good. Uh, excuse me. Uh, that's not good. Stop hitting the girl. Oh fuck. Hey, are you happy now? You low, brother. Huh? You like her? You can have her. Yeah, she's pretty clean and pretty dirty also, huh? She's yours for 200 American dollars. Mario, you are evil. No, Eva, I'm just a cow herd who can no longer afford the cattle. You want a cow? Cowboy? Huh? Holy Mother, save me from this man. Come on. $200, mate. $200. Um. Hey, that was weird. $200. Can we not just shoot this guy in the head? Now. <sighs> Personally, I'd rather just shoot this guy in the head. However, I don't know if that technically is going to complete the mission. I'm going to look it up, though, because the thing is, if you fail these, you've then got to wait for them to become available and try them again. I don't really want to fail it. I don't mind giving him the 200 bucks, but I'd rather just, you know, make him swallow a bullet. So one second. Okay, so as I kind of speculated, if we kill him, it does in fact fail this. Uh, and apparently, this is one that if you fail it, you cannot redo it. So, 200 bucks seems to be a small price to pay for her life and freedom. Take the damn money, you bastard. She's all yours, okay? Enjoy her. Gracias, senor. Thank you. Will you miss me, mi amor? What are you going to do now? I will go to Las Hermanas. The sisters there will help me. Well, all right. Now, visit the convent in... Okay, so yeah, then we've... All right, so we actually check in on her. 
Interesting. So we will do that in a few days. In fact, to be honest with you, uh, where? I can't remember where she said she was going now. Let's um skip some time and go visit her because that will be a relatively good way of finishing this off I think let's go and right this isn't our bedroom wait is our bedroom upstairs possibly yeah, our bedroom's upstairs. Right, bear with me, guys. I am going to go waste a load of time uh, and hopefully bring that mission uh, online. Okay, so I've uh, saved it a few times. Quite a few times, actually, in advance of time. Quite a lot, but she doesn't appear to be flagging up. So that's fine. Um, I do wish for a game that has... Um, so many time sensitive missions or at least so many missions where you have to wait around for time to advance there should have been a, like a better waiting system um, yeah I don't think so oi hey he was shooting me he was shooting me I mean, dude, come on. All I did was save a woman's life. I guess that's frowned upon in Mexico. I shall have to remember these local customs. Next time I'm stuffing down my uh, enchiladas or whatever it is we eat around here. Anyway, it looks like we can't uh, go visit our friends. So let's go and meet Luisa. Yes, hello. Remember, I saved you. And then you showed me no gratitude. What I wanted was a thanks, mate, and maybe a couple of bucks. I don't know. So, let's hit the old trail. Now, I can't remember these missions, but I know these missions involve working for the rebels. After all, Landon Ricketts has sent us on the right path for that. Yeah, that mission's definitely not kind of flagging up, is it? Yeah. I mean, Rockstar's always had the same thing, you know, you save the game and it advances six hours, but that just seems like a really inefficient way of passing the time. Having said that, um, the way you pass time in... Uh, Starfield and Skyrim and games like that is really shitty as well. In fact, actually, I think Starfield has it worse. Because you have to find a seat to sit down in Starfield to actually wait. Whereas um, in the other games, I can't remember with Skyrim actually, but I know in the other games you can wait anywhere. So I don't know why you can't just, you know. <laughs> weight on the floor or something but Starfield has a few other problems before we start talking about that now personally yeah you know, I'm over a hundred hours into Starfield and I've had a really 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 good time with it but um oh hello oh uh, they're lawmen I think executing Uh, yeah, we've seen nothing. So, let's carry on. Yeah, Starfield seems to be a pretty solid base. Um, I'm not going to say too much about the story because... Well, I mean... <laughs> the story definitely went into a direction that I was not expecting. And I don't know if I like it, I'll be honest. It's interesting, but it's... Hmm... I don't know. I don't dislike it, it just... Doesn't... 
I didn't enjoy it as much as other games. Um, other Bethesda games. My sister's keeper. Marston, Mama, Papa, este es el gringo que me salvó. Muchas gracias. Uh, my family is indebted to you. Forgive my English. What's happening? Great and terrible things. The revolution is coming. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister has to flee. The army have an unfortunate way of treating women. We've noticed. You? Don't worry about me, Mr. Marston. I'm living in history. I'm not afraid to die. Hmm. Your nobility is almost as affecting as your naivete. I would rather be dead than a cynic like you, Mr. Marston. I would too. I know you're not really like that. You saved me. Oh, Luisa, ¿quién va a salvar a Miranda? Tenemos que llevar al puerto su barco sale al anochecer. No queda tiempo. Mr. Marston. Can I ask one more favor of you? Can you take my sister to the docks? We are sending her to work for a kind man in the Yucatan. She's too young for revolution. Okay. Anything I can do to help out? The boat leaves at sundown. Miranda, vamos. Oh, adios, Miranda. Ten cuidado. Adios. Well, that's a pretty <laughs> shitty situation. We will take his stagecoach. Really? Can we just, like, take my horse? I guess the stagecoach will be better to shoot from. All right. Let's go take the youngling to the dock. Without riding the wagon off a cliff. That would be fantastic. So she's off to work with a nice man from the Yucatan. All right. Um, this doesn't look good. Paren! Papeles! Este camino está prohibido! What do they want now? Act normal. It's nothing to worry about. Te conozco. Eres un pinche rebelde. Disparen! No les dejen escapar! Uh, you know what, guys? How about not today? Not today. <laughs> okay. All right. Calm down, horses. Are we stuck? Are we stuck on the barricade? I think we were. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, God. This is a curious predicament. Still. Let's kill as many of these as we can. We're going. We're going. Just try not to catch uh, many of those bullets between your teeth. Alright. I mean, we could just... Um, we could just shoot our way through. No, senor. More soldiers. Head right. Head right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going, we're going. I mean, I would rather be working for the people than the government, that's for sure. Especially that government, you know? I mean, oh, good lord. Oh, we're going through. <laughs> you know, we've got to thin the numbers. There's too many of these soldiers. Alright, we're going. We're going. Um, because they're bastards. Well, that's not good. Hang on. We've got bigger fish to fry here. I hope she can keep taking those bullets. The cavalry. Who's the cavalry? Yeah, I'm trying, but this isn't exactly the most wieldy of vehicles. In fact, 
these things control like absolute shit. But that's all right. Yeah, these wagons really don't control that well at all. I mean, I suppose that's the point, right? They're not exactly the most nimble of things. Now, hopefully, we're going to make it in time. Alright. Yeah, they've got a lot of Gatling guns. Well, as much as I'd like to go back and fight him, John, we've got to get this woman somewhere. Oh, Jesus Christ. These horses are having none of it. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's definitely fine. Uh, where? Ah. <laughs> like, I can't even see the road, dude. I'm going. Now this is a road. All right, cool. Get rid of them. We are so close. Get rid of him. All right, he's gone. I think that was a prison um, wagon as well. So hopefully that guy is going to be free. Oh god, this thing really doesn't handle. That's all right. It's okay. Gracias a Dios. We made it in time. Thank you for everything. Will I see you when I return? Not likely. I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then. Maybe. You should get going. Travel safely. Okay. Maybe they are nice people. Be nice for something to get right for someone. Anyway, looks like we are out of time. But when we come back, we are going to... Ooh. <laughs> yes, fuck that cactus in particular. Um, we are going to continue our missions with uh, Luisa. And hopefully get a little bit of revenge and a bit of payback on the army. Eh, it's been long overdue. So, thanks for watching guys, and as always, till next time.